In this problem, we're told that 11 foot long ladder press against a vertical wall. If the bottom of the ladder slides away from the wall at a rate of 0.5 feet per second, how fast is the angle between the ladder and the ground changing when the bottom of the ladder is 8 feet from the wall? So in order to solve this problem, let's just draw a diagram of what it looks like. So we're told that an, a ladder 11 feet long rests against a vertical wall. So if this is our vertical wall, a ladder that is 10 feet long rests against it. So this thing right here is going to be our ladder. It's 10 feet long. We're also told that the bottom of the ladder is sliding away from the wall at a rate of 0.5 feet per second. So it's sliding away this way at 0.5 feet per second. So just draw a line like that, 0.5 feet per second. And then we're told how fast is the angle between the ladder and the ground changing. So the angle, this is the angle they're talking about, the angle between the ground and the ladder when it's 8 feet from the wall. So this is 8 feet. This is the distance between the angle and the wall. So we're going to label this 8 feet. So this is like a diagram to represent this problem. So what we should do next is try and find what this length is here. And we can do that using the Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So a squared, we'll just call this, this is a, 8. It's 8 feet right here. b, we're trying to find b, and we know what c is. So a squared is 8, which is 64, plus b squared, we don't know what it is is equal to c squared, which is, c is going to be this right here, so 10 squared, so it'll equal 100, so 64 plus b squared is equal to 100, we be minus 64, we'll get b squared is equal to 36, when we square both sides, we'll get b is equal to 6. You could also tell that this is just a 3, 4, 5, so if we divide all sides, uh, you'll know that this is a 4, and, or this side is 5, this side's a 4, and this is a 3, so this side's going to be the length of 6, so if we write that there, this is 6 feet. Now what we want to do is find the rate of change at the angle. So basically what we're trying to find is d theta dt. That's what they're asking us for because we're trying to find the rate of change at this angle with respect to the time. So when we're using angles, what we want to do is use trig. And so what we're going to do is use a trig formula to um, try and find uh, d theta dt. And what I recommend is using a side that's stationary. Like this 10 feet, a ladder's length will never change because it's just like a stationary thing like the, the ladder's length isn't changing so try and use something so we could use sine cosine or tangent so I'm gonna choose cosine for this because uh, we can cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse so this side over this side and this side isn't changing so that's what we want to do so we know that the cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent which is 8 over the hypotenuse which is 10 so cosine of theta is equal to 8 over 10 but instead of writing 8 over 10, I'm just going to write, if we label all these sides, this is A, this is B, this is C, we can just rewrite it as adjacent, which is A, over C. So cosine is equal to A over C. And then we should also manipulate it a little bit more. So instead of A over C, we can just write it 1 over C times A. And then C is just a constant, so we can just replace it with 10. So it's just basically the cosine of theta is equal to 1 over 10 times A. Then now what we want to do is differentiate it, so we can solve for d theta dt. So if we differentiate cosine of theta, we're going to have to use the chain rule since we're different, differentiating with respect to t. So the derivative of the cosine of theta is minus sine of theta times uh, the derivative with respect to the inside. So the derivative of theta with respect to t. And then we got to differentiate the other side. So if we differentiate 1 over 10 times a. It's just, uh, since we have like a just a constant times a variable, we can just do 1 over time times the derivative of a. The derivative of like just the uh, variable by itself is just going to be uh, 1. But since we're differentiating with respect to t, it's going to be, we also got to multiply it by the inside, which is dA dt. So it's basically just 1 over 10 times, times dA dt. So now we can solve. So the, this right here, 0.5 meters per second, is going to be dA dt. It's the rate of change of this length right here. So we know that dA dt going to be equal to 0.5 uh, feet per second. So what is the minus sine of theta? Well, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite of this angle is 6 over um, 10. So it's going to equal to 6 over 10 for this angle. But then we minus it. And then we can also simplify minus 6 over 10 to 3 over 5. If we divide both by 2. So this is just going to be equal to minus 3 over 5 times d theta dt is equal to 1 over 10 times dA dt, 
and we know what DADT is. It's 0.5. If we multiply 1 over 10 times 0.5, uh, it's basically 1 over 10 times 1 half, which will just become 1 over 20. Then all we got to do is multiply this side by the reciprocal of this, and that'll give us d theta dt. So if we go ahead and do that, and we multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this, reciprocal of minus 3 over 5 is minus 5 over 3. That's going to cancel, and then we have d theta dt is equal to 1 over 20 times uh, minus 5 over 3, which will just become minus 5 over 60. And so if we simplify this again, we'll just have minus 1 over 12. And so d theta dt is going to be equal to minus 1 over 12. And so minus 1 over 12 radians is going to be the answer to this question.